what said to you? Uh, I, well, I, the, the latest we were told was four, but just, I mean, it just started raining quite hard again, so anyone's guess really. Just been chatting with uh, Rafa a bit out there. He feels as though that there wasn't enough warning given. Were you given enough warning to get out to court and get ready for your match and everything else? And was the court safe enough to be on? Uh, it's just it was still raining when we went out there. I mean, the thing, like now, all the players just want to want to play, obviously, but it doesn't really make much sense to just go out for seven or eight minutes at a time. Um, and also, we're, it's like every half hour we're getting told, like it just gets moved back every half an hour, so it's not like we can. You know, we can't go away and do anything. We're just kind of waiting and just every half an hour getting told. So it's a bit, it's a bit sort of dull and, and boring. But everyone, well, you got this guy here to, you got this guy to liven things up, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> the shoes definitely liven things up. Uh, not, not, not really, not really his chat though. No, <laughs> unfortunately. I heard you were feeling a bit under pressure after yesterday's conversation that went out with Colin and Andy. No, I think I came out pretty, pretty well in the end. Um, <laughs> but. Um, no, <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> that was a good debate going on, and everyone was pretty much saying that Andy struggled the most. And uh, Flimbo's, I think he's sleeping in there now because he was trying to stay as far away from the camera as possible. But, um, but no, he's. Uh, we were just relaxing in the change room and um, waiting for something to happen. I met a female admirer of yours yesterday at lunch. Can you what? believe that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Come on, that's exactly my reaction. <laughs> I said Ross Hutchins from Britain, or is it, is it the one from Kazakhstan? <laughs> who, uh, who was it? No, I can't tell you. No, she'd be too embarrassed. So, when are you guys supposed to be on? We're supposed to be up to Isna Simon. Um, they playing first match, and we're supposed to follow them. But again, are you going to get moved? On? We haven't had anything. I think the priority is there for. Um, maybe they should move doubles off site anyway. Um, but. We just <laughs> 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 use that joke all week. No, he's been using it all week, and it just keeps saying it. And he, he brought it up to Roddick today, and he jumped on the, the joke. And uh, well, I was in the referee's office. There was some talk about Central Park. I mean, that, yeah. that's if, wasn't that, it? If, if, is, that, that, yeah. if, is that a bit too prestigious? <laughs> I mean, come on, Pat, it's not you too. <laughs> uh, how tough is it at the moment actually having to change? Because obviously you were going to play on Ash yesterday against Young. That's suddenly going to Grandstand. I mean, that's they're two. T they're such different courts here as well, aren't they? Yeah, Grandstand is actually perfect conditions to play on because there's never any wind there. Uh, you know, on Ash it normally gets pretty windy. It is a completely different court and an atmosphere, but there's very few people left here anyway to stay and watch, so there's not going to be much noise out there at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, the thing is, like from earlier, it's just because it's still raining and there's still kind of rain in the air, even if it doesn't look like it's too bad, it's still wet, the balls are getting really wet and heavy, and the lines are still slippy, and that's kind of what we've got to got to be careful for and we just basically said to the referee that if it's still like that then we don't we don't want to go out so hopefully we won't have to and one final question how tough is it mentally when you think about the matches you've got to play after this if you win and it's starting to back up does that have any bearing on when you get out there at the moment yeah well, that is kind of what i was just saying um i spoke to jim Kerr a little bit in there and i, I was just saying like the players more than anyone especially on my half of the draw are desperate to play because you know with each minute that passes it's more of a disadvantage for us I mean potentially having to play four matches in four days I, I don't remember the last time that would have happened in, in a slam and it's an incredibly difficult thing to do so we want to get out there but if it's there's talk of maybe moving the final to, to Monday which would, would help a little bit but it just, would you like to know that now? uh it depends where we get through the match today or not. If 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 we don't, then yeah, I think they should move it to Monday. But if not, I mean, they just keep it as it is. Andy, thanks very much. We miss Colin and good luck in Central Park, Ross. <laughs> thanks, Pat. <Paige. laughs> <laughs> well, interesting little insight into uh, Andy's mindset, and you can see again the, the fantastic banter actually between the British boys and Andy jokingly dismissing the doubles. And of course, it's great that that Hutchins and Fleming have got through.